To law enforcement in the South South, the Zone 5 Command of the Nigeria Police Force has paraded a suspected cultist name of Wilson Aroje at the command headquarters in Benin City, the Edo State Capital. He was apprehended after effective surveillance emanating from credible intelligence, according to the pub Police Public Relations Officer, Zone 5 Command, Mr. Emeka Ehenacho. Upon interrogation, the suspect allegedly confessed to being a member of a confraternity, which he joined in his days as a university student in Ambrus Ali University at Boma. He, however, insisted that he'd since renounced membership of the cult group. During the search of his residence, the police recovered various arms and ammunition and other illegal items. The command PPRO describes his arrest as a huge leap in efforts to mop up illegal weapons in the hands of criminal elements as directed by the Inspector General of Police. The suspect, Wilson Iliadje, was arrested on the 24th of July 2018 following a credible intelligence which led to the search to his residence and in the course of the search the operative recovered two pump action guns and one double barrel rifle another item three international passports apple laptop a substance suspected to be wheat and uh, other items that that is being displayed the I searched my house and saw these ammunitions in my house, which I declared as mine. I have owned two businesses here in Benin City, one shop on Adesua at the Supply Road Junction, and the second one here on Adesua by Ubo Junction, which I was robbed from my sales boy, and now I'm into farming. Uh, I'm an international businessman. I import electronics, laptops, computers, ACs, and others. Finally, the Minister of Education has identified funding as a challenge for the growth of the sector in the country and is seeking the collaborative efforts of all stakeholders for the advancement. The Minister made this known at the 63rd meeting of the National Council on Education Ministerial Session in Abuja. Our correspondent, Kayla Megua, reports. Nigeria's education sector has been plagued with a series of problems. Apart from Boko Haram staging an all-out war against education, creating an insecure environment which has seen millions of children drop out of school for fear of losing their lives, there is also the problem of poor funding. Which is why these delegates from across the country are seated here to come up with creative ways of funding the sector. The insurgency in the Northeast is particularly targeting education. If you hear the word Boko Haram, it means they do not want education. And they have been doing that both in terms of creating fear. The parents now are scared of sending their children to school because they could be kidnapped. Or, so we have to address that challenge. There are also the issue of physical attack on school facilities. We had to, add, and government has been doing very well in this regard. We appreciate the leadership Mr. President has given. We also appreciate the support we are given from our partners, the EU, and so many other. The State Schools Initiative is working. We, as a ministry, for example, thousands of students have been relocated temporarily from some of these areas into our unity schools. But we want to create the right conditions in their habitat. Now that they're going back, now that we pushed uh, back on the insurgency, we now want to create the right conditions for the students, some of them who have missed a few years in their education, to be brought back to the school system and to also uh, get, so they don't miss on the opportunities that they will have later in life. The council suggested, among other things, sources for adequate funding of education in the country, which includes the establishment of an education bank and student loan boards by states at concessionary interest rates to allow students access to funds, and the establishment of education funds by all states in the country, with a special emphasis on funding teacher development and secondary education. The challenges we faced is just like the challenges like any other state is facing. It's funding because uh, every state depends on federal allocation. And once the allocation is dwindling, even when the state governors have the zeal and the passion to carry education forward, there's little they, cannot, they can do. 
With a population of over 170 million people, 45% of which are below the age of 15, according to UNICEF, the Minister of Education believes the burden on education has become overwhelming on the three tiers of government. And to achieve the goals of the Education 2030 Agenda, funding must come from multiple sources. Kayla Megwa, Channels Television News. And that's where we call it a day for this edition of News Across Nigeria. Thank you for watching. I'm Olumide Mukoli.